Shalom and welcome to our home located here on the hills of Benjamin just outside of Jerusalem. Question. When was the last time you were angry? When was the last time you experienced lust? Lust for food? Lust for cars? Bodies? Television shows? Shoes? Whatever. Doesn't matter. We all are there. We've all experienced it. Where do these things come from? Are you just a bad person? Is that what that little voice inside your head is continually saying? You're just a bad person. You're never going to make the grade. You're never going to kick the habit. You're caught. Well, let's go back a little bit. Were you brought up in a home where there was a lot of anger? Because if you were, you were certainly subject to many other attitudes. And they affected you as a child. And of course, as a little child, you can't protect yourself. And so you're very open to what adults, unfortunately, have done. And I, I'm very sorry for if that has happened to you. I am also a partaker of that in my own home as a child. And I know the damage that was done to me. Now, the important thing is it was not your fault. And if you've been able to deal with it, then you're going to be a healthy person and you're going to enjoy a fruitful life. But if you've not been able to deal with how you were handled as a child, and I use the word handled in quotes here, if you were misused in any way, you will be suffering. You will be feeling alienated and angry and you'll be very hard on yourself. You're going to be looking for reasons why this happened to you because obviously there had to be something wrong with you. Well, I want to tell you it's not your fault. But what is your fault is the resentment, the bitterness, the unforgiveness that you're lugging around inside. The very thing that you would run away from is the thing you need to fess up. If you can't go to the person themselves that inflicted damage upon you, you can go to your Heavenly Father. He knows it all anyway, and He will help you to walk out of it. If you need to say, I am sorry, but the person won't hear it, you can take your petition to God, and He will forgive you. And you must also need to forgive yourself, because you've been caught. We've all been caught by something. And how to get free is the issue. So what I want to say is we need to be willing to deal with the very things that we cover over. The things when the pressure's on that slip out. The angers and the lusts. The things that we're going to take for ourselves. We don't need to listen to the little voice that says, you haven't been loved or you know you have needs that are not met. We can turn that around and we can say, Lord, I am loved by you and you will help me to find my needs met. We can turn it all around. Isaiah said, Is this not the fast that I have chosen? To undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that you hide not yourself from your own nakedness. And that's what I'm saying today. Don't run from who you are. Don't run from the cracked vessel. We're cracked pots, all of us. Don't run or hide it, but take it to the Lord. And if you're going to share it with another human being, be very careful who that person is. Something, someone you can trust. If you have questions, go to my website, hisstillsmallvoice.com.